Ah, there's Dickel's wallet. Let's just take out his $100 bills. And replace it with Monopoly money. <laughs> it's payback time for all those tricks you played on me, old pal. Have fun with no money. <laughs> oh boy, I can hardly wait till tomorrow when I fly off to Washington, D.C. Maybe Trump will appoint me to a cabinet post. Washington needs an Aflocket after the last eight years. Mr. Trump even reserved me a room in his D.C. International Hotel. And I have money to spend, too, thanks to the reward for the IRS scammer. I'm in the dough. Watch out, America. Mr. F. Lockett goes to Washington. Oh, stewardess, you bring me some whiskey and leave the bottle. <laughs> oh, look, there's the Capitol. There's Trump's new house. Man, this is going to be great. Well, welcome to part eight of this 1934 Westinghouse series. Oh, hello. You're looking at the uh, grill cloth here. Oh, brother. I'm going to attempt to clean this. I have never attempted to clean a grill cloth. I usually consider them yucky and dirty and don't even want to touch it. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to try my hand on it. Now this particular grill cloth is held in here by they got this wood strip mm -hmm. there's one here up here down here down here and there's a groove in the uh, board and they just shove this wood piece here down in there to hold it in there it's more like a screen door type thing and i dispatched wifey out this morning oh hello dear to buy me some upholstery cleaner. I didn't know what kind. I just said get some upholstery cleaner that you just spray on, let it dry in a vacuum. And we've got the Woolite carpet and upholstery cleaner. It comes with a little brush here. So we're gonna try that. If it doesn't work, no big deal. It's no skin off my nose. I'd rather replace it anyway, but just for entertainment purposes, mind you, let's see if we can clean this. I might surprise myself and it might work and we'll keep it. I'm going to take it outside at the front door here and then blow it off so all the dust goes outside. So once I get it blown off pretty good, then I will try that uh, solution. Here's a hint for you geniuses out there. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? Wow, well, it looks better than ever. I'll say! Some of the paint specks that were on here just came right off when I blew it off. So let's, uh, let's try a little of this here. Now, what I am about to show you next may shock and educate you. Okay, then you're supposed to uh, take a towel and uh, get some of the moisture off. <laughs> oh, bro! 
<laughs> well, there goes that. <laughs> and you can see it's very delicate here, so... Here goes that plan. I like it when a plan just falls apart. Just for grins, let's, uh, let's try some more over here. Maybe I shouldn't use the brush on it. Good idea! But too little too late, Harry. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're pathetic, you know that? Since I'm doing it, I'll just clean it up and we'll take a look at it after I get it scrubbed down. Don't that bloke never stop? This is called the hand method. That's the last straw. I resign. I wash my hands of the whole business. A good idea. You can wash your neck, too. By the looks of the... Uh, Suds here, it doesn't look like it's that dirty. You know something? My patience is running out. Alright, we'll let that dry. As you can see, we still have some snow here. Old Beaver Town has been in an icebox the last week. This snow came on uh, Wednesday. And uh, it's just been hanging around because it gets down to the 20s and it doesn't get up past freezing during the day. So at least it's sunny. But trying to do finish work when it's this cold is, uh, is crazy. But you know, I am crazy, so I have to do it. The garage isn't heated, but I've got a uh, cheap Chinese heater. Hopefully it'll do the job. I'm going to uh, see if I can clean it off and uh, put some Howards on it. But uh, I think I'll wait for a warmer weather to put lacquer on it. There's my cheap Chinese heater. And there's the top of the cabinet here. I'm just going to put some mineral spirits on and try to clean it up. Too bad. Be a wonderful bargain. Nothing like a good deed to start the day off right, Fred. Well, there it is after a mineral spirit bath. You know, it always looks great after the bath. Looks like some brown paint dripped down here and here. I'll have to get that off. But we'll let that dry and I'll probably do the uh, Howards tomorrow. Maybe it'll warm up a little bit. Not again! I decided to do a second coat just for future reference. Because once I took all the, uh, the suds off, it looked pretty good. What's the matter with you? It's kind of fun doing that. Does all this turn you on? I'm sorry to have to say, I can't wait any longer now. The time limit is up. See, it did brighten it up quite a bit. I wonder if that part will show. Well, here's some lost footage that I took last year and I forgot to put it in my video. Here I am soaking uh, the tuning condenser in one of the cans in evaporust. Now, there was a little bit of rust on the uh, tuning condenser, but it was a big mistake. As you can see, it's a greenish yellow haze on the steel there. Can you see it? 
as I was rinsing it off, I looked at it and said, man, this is going to take a lot of work to get this crap off. So old Buzz has learned his lesson well. Use navel jelly and water. It works great. Well, there it is. Oh, brother. <laughs> you know, it's good to show all your screw-ups. And I don't mind showing them. That's completely worthless now. In fact, uh, this part goes on the bottom and it's in full view between those bars. So that can be never be used. But I think I was screwed from the beginning here because underneath this this board here, the, uh, the wood is stained. So when I put that upholstery cleaner on here, I was actually uh, taking some of the stain and it kind of soaked through and came through on the cloth here. You can see this, this shows up real good when I take it outside. In reality, I was cleaning this, but I was also staining the, uh, the cloth darker. That's why it looks a little bit a little darker there. But you know, you can't cry over spilt grill cloth. And I'm not about to do it. But I'm going to take these, these splines off. Uh, there's nails shoved in here to uh, hold it in there a little better. So I'm going to see if I can take all that off. And we'll get that grill cloth off and take a look at it. Who knows, in the future, on another radio, I might be able to use a portion of this cloth here and recycle it that way. But crap happens when you're doing these old radios, so if you're out there and you're new to it, expect a lot of it. Shot of the nail there. This is going to be very time consuming. But I'm going to do this off camera. 
There must be about 20 of them all the way around. So let me uh, take these off and we'll show you what it looks like. Let's just uh, try to pull these out and see what it looks like. These uh, look like some type of a plant or a branch or something. Pull this one out here. And one more. See what's underneath here. There's a, you notice it's not glued. And if you notice on here, this wood here was, was stained. That's why it soaked through on the cloth. Oh, well, there it is. Now the back of it looks pretty good. Too bad I messed it up with the hole. I could have turned it around. Well, I may be able to use this uh, inside part in the middle for a, another radio. So I may do that in the future. And we can uh, save this. Look at this board here. This sort of looks like a one-hole privy here. Party. Last week I had an inquiry about uh, my uh, transmitter here. The guy wanted to know more about it. So I'm going to have a little segment here devoted to my uh, transmitter. There it is. This is made by SS Tran and the model is AMT3000. Now, I forgot how long I've had it, so I had to look it up. I bought this in March of uh, 2013, so it's almost four years old. And I use it almost every day. I bought this as a kit. Uh, the, uh, this one has a power switch, because I put that in there myself. I like to be able to switch things on and off. Otherwise, you have to unplug the power on the back. But here it is. I dug up a couple of pictures of what it looked like when I first bought it in 2013. Here's the kit that it comes with. You can see all the components. And it's, uh, it's fun to just put it together. All you need is a soldering iron and some solder. And uh, when I first plugged it in and uh, tested it, it worked right away. This has got your gain control here, your modulation, and your compression. I really just set these uh, these two here, the modulation and compression about halfway up. And the gain, depending on how close the radio is, uh, I can put it up or down. Now the rear of it, you got your antenna at ground. I've got like a six, I think it's a six meter antenna it comes with and you're not supposed to use any Thing longer than six meters or the uh, the FCC will come get you <laughs> but six feet is plenty I mean this uh, this will transmit to my garage uh, to my bathroom and to any room in the house of course I don't have that big of a house but it works just fine for me here's my two audio connectors now the other end is uh, one of these jacks and what I do is I plug this into the headphone jack of my computer. So anything that comes out uh, from my computer, it will go in here and broadcast it. So I can set up my computer and play a CD. Uh, and it will broadcast the whole CD. And if you loop it, it'll just keep going and going and going. You can also go to the website uh, that I said last week where they play old radio shows and do the same thing you know so there it is the amt 3000 now the company ss tran i think they're still in business so if you want to buy one you'll have to google ss tran i think mine cost uh about 90 bucks i think they're over 100 bucks uh now so let's just see how it works. Uh, I'll get my radio over here and uh, we'll play a song. Okay, I've got the uh, computer here on a uh, YouTube video. This is Al Bowley sings Melancholy Baby. 
uh, what I'm going to do is all I do is plug in the audio cord here that goes to the transmitter into the earphone jack here and this will transmit uh, the song here so let's just start this right now it's just coming out of the speakers over here So we'll plug this in. There it is. Here's the gain control. Modulation. You know, honey, I'm in love with you. Compression. Great, great transmitter. Now you can uh, build your own using tubes or you can buy the kit. I bought the kit. This is Buzz. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Ah, bless ye, lad. And now I must be away. <laughs>